Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit far away, but in today's video, I am bringing you how do I stay fit after the age of 50. Guys, um, this video is part of a collaboration. I will talk to you more about that a little bit further in the video. Guys, the number one thing that I do to stay fit is, of course, exercise. And I exercise basically every day because I have two dogs. So I go for at least two to three mile walks every day. Um, I go to the gym from two to four times a week. In the gym, I do my exercise training but i do i do the machines which consists of 50 pounds 40 pounds and 55 pounds but at home when i don't go to the gym i do simple exercise the if you are consistent with it it will help you to stay fit and also will help you to lose weight in the long run so guys right now I already did my warm up, so for the video not to be too long, I'm going to be showing you some things that I use, which didn't cost me much money. The most expensive thing that I have is my weight, which it cost me, I think it was $6.99 or $7.99, uh, oh five and below. All my equipment is for five and below, except the app roller I, that's what i call it the app roller i don't know what it is but i'll show you guys that which i got it at the goodwill i thrift it so guys one of the simple exercise to do at home that i do at home is on the floor i use a kitchen mat because you know the floor is hard for the buttocks so i use the kitchen mat that i bought and also what i i also bought my um pad for the floor at five and below as well. So I will be showing you guys that. And I usually use my weight to do this exercise, but if it's too much for you, um, you could use a ball, a simple ball, a beach ball. See, very simple. So this is a simple exercise. You guys gonna see my dogs coming around. So it's very simple. No, we're not playing, baby. So it's very simple. Bend your knees a little bit. I apologize, guys. Um, bend your knees a little bit, like so. Lean back a little bit, and you're going to take the ball, and you're going to hold your posture. Let me bring you guys closer. Hold on. For you guys to be able to see what I'm trying to do. So, maybe... I, I do it like this and I will keep that in so you guys can see my posture and come on move and you guys gonna see what I'm doing so see bend your knees lean back a little bit and from side to side you're going to be doing this exercise okay do it for as much as you can but when I do this exercise this help you with your tummy you're also going to be sucking up your your tummy, you're going to hold it tight, but you're going to be breathing as well. Don't just stop breathing. But when I do this exercise, I do not use the ball. That's so just to give you an idea what you can use. I like to use my 18-pound weight, which is called a kettlebell. I usually hold it like this or like this, whatever is easier, and I go side to side. I did 10. I usually do 30. I take a break. I move to another different exercise. I go back and I do 30 more. Do a different exercise. Go back to the other exercise. So guys, that's that. 
and then something also to help you with your tummy is do plants which a lot of people cannot do it'll take practice and if you cannot do the whole plant i'm going to show you how to start in the low and then you move gradually from there so if you cannot do the whole plant you're going to do this try to do this okay and hold yourself there hold your tummy in breathe at the same time for as much as you can but since i am past this level i do the whole plant which is like so i count to 30 to a minute and hold it Hold your tummy in, hold your tummy in, hold it, breathe. And the beginning is hard, it's still hard, a little bit for me. This helps your muscles in the back to get um, strong, your core, your legs, and your buttocks. Okay, that's that. Whew, I'm already sweating even though I already did my warm up. Another exercise that I do, which it helps with the love handles, which is on the side, your arm like so, stretch your legs. I usually do it like this. If you cannot do it like this, put your hand up front and you're going to be working your legs at the same time that you're working your side. Hold your tummy in. Do your other side. I know you guys might not be able to see me completely, but I don't want to turn the other way. But do your other side like I showed you. If you cannot hold it with your um, without your support, support yourself and I do 10 so I'm not gonna go back to the plank because I want the video not to be too long all right guys Whew. another exercise that I do is the squat you could either do them without the weight and you guys cannot see my face sorry this video might be a little long, but it's okay. So, use your kettlebell. You could do your squat as much as that go. If you could touch the floor with the bell, fine. And when you come up, squeeze your buttocks and do it again. Squeeze your buttocks, do it again. But my favorite one, which is swinging the bell, okay? So I gotta be careful because I have this. It's kind of small. All right. So we're going to, which I am working my glutes, my legs, my arms, and make sure you're breathing, hold your tummy in, and do it. Whew. Guys, I do this basically every day for me to stay fit after 50. Whew. All right, and if you can 
thing I do, the one that I showed you laying on your side to work, love you, work your love handles, take the bell, <sighs> hold your stomach in, okay, hold your stomach in, and you're going to go side to side, okay. This is with less intensity for your back. And then you're gonna swing your belt and you're going to do the other side. Ooh. At the same time, make sure you take your breath, your breath, hold your tummy in, like you wanna stick your belly button to your back, okay? And that's how you do it, guys. If you could do maybe a repetition of five to 10 and try to do your exercise for 30 minutes a day, you will accomplish your um, exercise. Guys, this video is part of an open, close collaboration this time. It's gonna be an open one in the future with they were from home of Atlanta, a penny's place lifestyle living. Guys, of course, myself, Deborah Cabasa. Honestly, I cannot remember everybody's names right now, but I will link everybody's channel in my description box so you guys can go and learn some of the tips from the other ladies and you can, guys can apply them at home. Guys, I also have my bands. So I have extra heavy, I have medium, and I have light. So there's no excuse why you cannot use your bands. You have all three of them. So right now, I will be using the heavy one. Remember guys, there's a lot of exercise to work your body but there's not a lot of exercise to work the muscle that goes under your glute, glute, glutes, it's called, your butt. So there's a muscle that goes here that helps you lift up your butt. So I'm gonna show you how to work that muscle. Could you bend? Okay, sometimes I do all three of them. You're going to, that you're doing a squat, that you're doing a squat, okay? But you're going to stay like this in this position and you're going to go side to side, okay? See, for me right now, this band is kind of light. I usually use all three of them. And if you, you, hold, you lose your balance, just do like this, or you could just go like this, okay? So you're working the muscle right here. At the same time, squeeze your butt, hold your tummy in, okay? That's one of the exercise. Just doing that little bit, I feel it a little bit right here on the side. And also, you can also do the lifting of the legs towards the back with your bend, okay? You're going to be squeeze your butt as you do this. Hold your tummy in, stand tall, and then do the other side. So I don't know if you can see it from here. So I'm gonna do it like this. Diamond, stop it, making it, go. Sorry guys, go, go on. <laughs> so I'm gonna do it from here. So guys, Be careful, baby, I don't wanna kick you. So you guys gonna do this and go back. Okay, squeeze your butt, and then you will do the other side. Also, you could just, whoop, sorry. You could just do 
but like I say, it's kind of light for me because I only have one and this is the heavy bag. And you will do your other side. Okay, guys, and just to let you know, it's not just doing exercise, guys. You also have to have a balanced diet. Honestly, me, I eat anything that I want. Honestly, I eat cake, I eat pasta, I eat fried food, but not all the time. If you're going to eat <clears throat> what you want to eat, make sure you do exercise. And also have in mind, the if once you learn the exercise routine, you're going to know about how many calories you are going to burn. So if you are going to burn... 500 calories in your exercise routine. Make sure that if you eat at least a thousand calories, believe me, a thousand calories is a lot of food. But a lot of people eat a thousand calories of one setting. Once you learn how to uh, count your calories, um, you will know how much uh, exercise to do. I don't kill myself. I'm just consistent on my exercise. Like I told you guys, um, I do exercise almost every day. I go to the gym almost four times out of the week. I that's a must. I go to I go for walks every day, two to three times a day with my dogs. Um, yeah, guys. And the last, um, I also you can get this. Like I said, um, five and below. I also got this one which is, uh, I use it for my legs. So you, for not for my legs, but for my arm. I don't have, um, dumb, what do you call it, dumbbells. So I use this. So you hold it and you're going to, you work in your arm. And this one is a little bit, it's, it's good, okay? And if you want to stand tall, you could just, you still work in your arm. Okay. So that's that one. Um, the last one that I'm going to show you, I don't know what you guys call this. It's for the tummy as well. Um, this was a good one. I bought this about two years ago. And it was 50% off, but I never paid the full price, so it cost me five dollars. So this one I have to remove this head. And okay. Let me bring you guys closer for this one. Come on, baby, move. Sorry guys, I apologize. Okay, and there you guys can see it. And it has the arrow that tells you you're going the right way. So I usually cross my legs. I'm not gonna go all the way down because this is just to show you guys. So just, and this you are going to feel on your back and you're going to feel it here in your tummy. If you are afraid to fall in your, in your face like I did when I started, so find yourself, your couch, I have my recliner right here. So just to prevent you from getting hurt, move yourself close. Your pad, I have, like I said, I have the kitchen pad here because it hurts the floor. And the couch is gonna stop you. I usually, like I said, I cross my legs and then touch and you come back, okay? So you're going to touch and you come back. Don't forget to, to breathe. And then if you want to go to the side, you're just going to turn it a little bit and just go and come back. You go and come back. And so you actually can get low enough that you'll be able to do as much as you want. Guys, I could show you more exercise, 
but um, since I don't want the video to be too long, let me come over here. And remember, guys, stay fit, keep exercising, don't give up. When you do exercise the first few days, you are going to be in pain. And remember, pain is weakness leaving the body. So that's when you have pain, that's when you know the exercise is working, okay? But um, also, um, if you like to have snacks between your meals, I recommend healthy snacks. Um, an apple, a banana, grapes, um, raisins, and also that I recommend if you want to cut down also your calories, have at least eight ounces of water 15 minutes before you eat. And once you start eating, you will get full, full faster. And guys, when we were growing up, we were thought to finish everything in our plates. You don't have to. So what you have to do is buy, I mean, serve yourself smaller, porch, smaller portions, add salads to your um, meals, add um, vegetables, um, carrots, broccoli, celery, at vegetables because you are consuming healthy calories then if you like to have your protein you could have your protein from beans and other uh, meals but like I said in the beginning I cut down in a lot of my food but now I eat a lot I eat guys but say maybe because I'm like this I don't eat I eat more than my husband and my husband is a big guy my husband is 6'3", okay? And my husband had lost a lot of weight by me cutting his meals as well. So, guys, I hope this helped you to stay fit after the age of 50. Yes, guys, I am past my 50s. So, guys, I'm going to leave it like I always say. And also, drinking a lot of water through the day will help you lose weight because sometimes our brain throws a signal to our body like we're hungry and we're not really hungry. We're actually dehydrated and thirsty. So drink. If you don't like drinking plain water, buy those little drops of flavor, like meal drops, and a couple of drops in there. It's calorie free and it still give you like you have any juice, but it's not juice. It's actually water. So be kind to one another. Don't forget to smile. Overall, stay safe, stay healthy. And remember, guys, God loves you and Debbie also loves you too. It will be into the next one. Bye bye, guys.